Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Dorma number 79001 LTA 629. This is a lever outside, this is an outside trim in the LTA design, LT type lever, A rose. That's certainly going to be solid. No question about that. It's not tubular. Polished stainless, and that's what the 629 stands for. This will be solid stainless steel with a polished finish. A very re re residual amount of magnetism when, when stainless has worked, and that was indeed being picked up there. Okay, Got your spindle. Obviously, this is the exterior where your bolts will come in through the opposite or interior side to thread into the two mounting posts. Okay. A number of details down below, and let's take a closer look at the, those extended, uh, the extended description and the links that are there. Okay, now as we dig into the extended description of this item, we have our details down below. LT lever with an A rose. That's where the LTA comes in. Rose diameter two and a quarter. Outside trim. We've discovered that this is indeed an outside trim. Uh, lever lock trim includes a spindle and a spindle spring, which it does. Now, let's take a look at the lever options that are here. Here's your LT, that round handle. LR is, of course, very common, a very common piece of equipment, design. Decorative levers, the one knob that's here as well. Moving on to the, uh, just scrolling through, A rows, two and a quarter diameter, handing. That's important to know. The, this trim is not handed, but much, of course, is handed, especially when it comes to mortise locks. This is the stuff that's handy. The mortise locks manual, that's here. Uh, it's really a product brochure. What's nice about that is an overview of the entire series of Dorma mortise locks. And one nice thing um, that uh, goes across the entire line of Dorma products is they make it very easy to put together a part number. And as you go through, you'll be able to go through the catalog and basically hit each point as you hop along and be able to discover exactly the part number that you need. The instru uh, instruction is here, which of course is very handy because you may not um, be familiar with how to attach this trim. Well, somewhere in here you're certainly going to get that information, but there's not a lot to say uh, extol, uh, pardon me, exterior trim installation, either escutcheon or rows, okay? And that exterior goes straight through. The inside, of course, is where the screws will always come from, uh, come from, shown down here. Those two screws are going to be what will thread into these two posts, okay? Finally, this link here to the manufacturer's page. Let's talk about that. So that link below this video to the manufacturer's page, that's nice because it will allow you to review not only all of the Dorma products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full Dorma catalog. Just wanted to check two and a quarter. That does indeed appear to be correct for the diameter of the rows. We didn't check that. Let's take some other basic dimensional properties. Overall projection appears to be about two and a half inch. The inside would be about an inch and three quarter tells me that that lever, of course, is three-quarter inch diameter. Let's just take a look at that. Polished stainless. 0 0.716, 0 0.716 diameter. Polished stainless is nice. Here's why. Polished chrome or polished stainless? Some people will insist on polished chrome. I understand that to a certain degree. The issue is polished chrome is a plating over brass. What's in your hand? Keys, rings, uh, other things that you're holding in your hand as you operate the lever. 
when you break that plating, the lacquer will go, the plating will go, and then your trim will degrade. Not that you can't, you will not scratch and wear off the polish off of this stainless, but the base material is stainless, so it's going to be more durable. It's not as highly reflective, naturally, as polished chrome plating will be, but in terms of a durability, it is absolutely head and shoulders more durable. So I would very much recommend that you review that. Um, projection of the handle, or the distance from the handle from the edge of the door is going to be a half of an inch. Let's see if I can eyeball that a little bit better. Well, it's going to be, might be, yeah, it would be no more than half of an inch, which will be required by ADA that that return to within a half of an inch. I would say that that would be accurate. Okay. Uh, I'm, I am partial to Dorma. <clears throat> um, it would certainly be unfair to say that they're an also ran. Um, it doesn't even sound right saying that. But when you compare Dorma to your other names in the business, Dorma doesn't necessarily fall into the same um, set of specifications necessarily. But I can tell you this. <clears throat> um, I've certainly never had any problem with their quality. I have sold Dorma directly and indirectly for almost 30 years. Th their closers, their exit devices, obviously their lock sets. I have done large jobs of their lock sets, large factory keyed jobs of their lock sets. I've reviewed their um, their bidding list and the approach that they use from a locksmithing perspective to derive the biddings was absolutely top notch. It was only a level two system, but they did it in such a way that is the more difficult way to do it. Um, however, the way that is better for the end user. So I appreciated seeing it done very professionally. Speaking of professionally, I have a contact in their tech support department who puts the capital letter P in, in professionalism. Prompt, predictable, professional. This gentleman there is all of the above. And it's a, it's a reason why when I get into scenarios where I have an opportunity to use Dorma, I know I can rely on them. When I get into scenarios where I think to myself, hey, do you want to use Dorma? I know I can rely on them. And I've used Dorma when I didn't have to other times because I knew at the end of the day I was going to get responsiveness. And that's, you know, that's what counts. You can buy a polished, you can buy a, a grade one lever lock, lever mortise lock from anyone. Why Dorma? And as far as I'm concerned, they don't necessarily have the brand recognition of other companies, at least here in the United States, but they do have that professionalism that, that I appreciate. Anyway, any questions on the 79001 LTA and a 629 finish? Of course, all of the possible finishes would be available. Your chromes, your bronze, your brasses, your nickels, your, you know, I'm sure they can even do powder coated finish uh, finishes now, which are kind of the rage. Um, any questions on this or any other Dorma product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.